meet my pets. See them? They're very ungrateful. They poop all over my car and they eat up all the food. They're all up there. But I still feed them though. I like them because they're free. They can do whatever they please. They're all up in the trees everywhere. I just make sure they got water right here and um, let them do their thing. See them flying all over. Hello. How's it going, guys? Ladies, gentlemen, um, to whom this video might appeal to. So most of you guys know me uh, from a lot of car videos. Um, I uh, One of my uh, better videos that I'm mo more known for is how to remove the bumps from the back of my head. Um, I'm happy I did tap tackle that subject. Uh, I was a little bit of, uh, I was a little bit embarrassed to make the video, but as I am now realizing that sometimes it's good to go against the grain. Um, I want to do this video as to some of the reasons why I decided I wanted to make that slow transition to being alkaline and slow transition because, um, you know, we were kind of brought up to think that you have to look a certain way you have to eat a certain food you have to act a certain way and um sometimes that's not always right you know um i know growing up i thought uh the the smartest individuals were you know the ones that looked swole and buff and you know they were the ones that got things done you know now i am uh kind of understanding that the uh, smartest individuals are the ones that take initiative, you know, and go out and look for things. Close this window here. Um, as you can, as you guys know, you know, I love cars, love wildlife. You know, I love working with my hands, doing stuff. Um, I love uh, trying to be, uh, I guess, creative and trying to f find better ways of doing things. You know. And stuff like that but um for the last few years I've been slowly trying to get back to that diet that I had in Jamaica at the time you know in Jamaica I, I it wasn't a diet it was just you ate from the land and we always assumed that we were just very poor and unfortunate but um you know didn't really understood that we were eating a great diet um you know for instance uh this orange here you know, back home, you can go pick an orange off the tree. We had a neighbor orange. Um, and when you when you got an orange and you cut them, cut it here. Or our oranges had seeds in them. These do not have any seeds. So how do they regrow themselves? You understand what I'm saying? Uh... Lemon, lime, if we, we had a lime tree, we would make lime tea in the morning and we thought we were like the poorest and the worst, uh, just didn't understand. You cut this lime here, don't mind me, I need to sharpen these knives. Cut the lime here, there's no seeds in them. Can't be alkaline, how do they really grow themselves? So, not because, you know, we eat uh, all this stuff that we were told, like I said, that you got to eat a certain way to be healthy. That means that's the end all the be all. You have to be inquisitive. You have to know what you're eating. You have to know what's in what you're eating. Um, they're supposed to have seeds in them so they can regrow when you plant them outside. Do more investigation with your food. Um, right now... I'm doing some cucumbers. I will eventually go to the organic ones because I know cucumbers are not supposed to be this big. But right now, these are what I could get my hands on. Most of the stuff I start out with are, I just go to the store and, and, and I gradually, it's a gradual change for me. So right now, I have the cucumbers. Um, So right now, 
I have cucumbers cut up and I use um, cayenne pepper. I just sprinkle a little bit on there. So this is my snack. You know, I'll put some, I'll just cut them up, peel them. I'll peel them, I'll save the skin. I'm gonna throw it here in this blender here. And I'm gonna blend it up with a little bit of water and throw at the roots of my plant. All right, so right now while we're springing up, I have, I think, a green peppers. So I have some here. I have one springing up here. I have some blossoming over here. I think, I don't know, I just throw the stuff out here and let them do their thing. Um, I don't know if these are gonna respring. These were uh, Kalaloo. And I had a yam yam over here. All right, y'all. So we got Kalaloo, a strawberry. She got some sweet pepper grower on front. And we we was out of curiosity. Boy, don't throw that. I'm a dirt that boy. Go put that back. That's dirt. No, that's uh, mulch. Yeah. And we got mint somewhere. Oh, mint up on the other side. What the curiosity with you? Pizza, where is it? Yum. Yum. White yum. White yum. I'm clear. Could it? Could it? The spring the box side. I don't know if it's gonna last through the winter, but at least you can say you have you have a maybe we get a greenhouse. Anybody know how to grow any kind of thing in a cool environment? Let me know. Oh gosh, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's gonna respring, but you know, still trial and error. And got my strawberry. I have to clean it up. Get all the the. All the little stuff out of there. And over here, uh, what you guys call uh, green onions. I call them scallions. See them going all along here. It was raining. So these, I'll see how they do because I'm still learning how to get this water to keep running. I don't mind the water flowing over them, but I don't want it sitting. In. But um, just planting up. We have some pots around here. Then my girlfriend repaired one of them. And um, this is her little form, farming section here. We uh, She planted some green peppers. She planted some green peppers last year. Let me see, we had one, two, three, four in this one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen of them. And we use them to make juice. And then once we get the, when we blend the juice, just kind of put them at the root. It needs to be cleaned up and refreshed for this year. So I'm reusing the whole thing. Cucumbers, I cut them up when I for my son. Um, I bring him to lunch so he can have. You know, I still every now and then I'll still make bacon. I've completely cut out ribs. Um, my girlfriend has been really on board with it, and she's uh she's slowly cutting back on the pork and stuff like that. So that's good. Um, you've guys seen um. In my previous video, um, you know, chicken I get, I try to get organic chicken. You know, I get a whole a whole lot of them, so I don't have to go back, back and forth. Um, I have, that's like, what, four bottles? So, a lot of empty bottles of water here. Of water that I put in the recycling. Um, I try to reuse these bottles because the, uh, the chemicals that the bottles are made out of are not as uh they don't there's not a, they're not the chemicals are not as strong as say um the conventional bottles themselves so this video is not high tech I, i'm trying to limit the amount of editing i have to do because i'm trying to be as straight up with you guys as possible um my girlfriend she's going to try her hand that we call the, these uh single bible in jamaica um this is the name here that we got from Home Depot. The the price might be different. Whatever state you're in. And uh, another thing. This is called soursop. Right? I got two of them. These two weighed four pounds plus. We were $45. When I was growing up in Jamaica, you could go outside and pick one off the, the, the tree and just eat it. Uh, when I was growing up, you could go pick the leaves off the tree 
and make tea out of it. Um, from what I've been hearing and I, I, from, and this is just rumors, research that every single part of the tree of this fruit is essential, is important. This soursop here has been linked to curing cancer and helping with prostate and several different things. It's called soursop. I'll try to put the name and the proper spelling of these stuff. I am slowly to, you know, making that transition. I don't know if I'll 100% stop eating meat, but um. I'll try to, I'm trying to limit my diet to only chicken and fish. This is quite expensive. Um, if you can try to learn how to grow a lot of stuff yourself, if you live in an apartment, you can get those wooden uh, pallets and block them off with um, the uh, black, black, uh, black stuff that they put down on the, uh, on their, if you're, you put it down so the grass doesn't grow through. You can get it at Home Depot. You can you can put it on both sides of the pallet. Put dirt inside of it, and you can grow your stuff on the balcony. You know, some tomatoes or whatever whatever it is, you know, just to get in that feel of growing your own stuff. Um, you don't want to solely rely on if you don't have money, you can't eat. You're, you know, in the, I'm trying to rely, be self-sufficient, especially in the summertime, and I'll go from there. Um, but, I, uh, the bumps on the back of my head first, first occur when I was in Jamaica. Uh, I was trying to cut my hair, trying to be cheap. Back then, you just didn't have the money. That's why now I've kind of I'm always in that mindset of of how it was when I was in Jamaica. Just that, stay hungry, be be innovative, try to take use a little to make a lot. So I'm always I, I always stay humble and stay in that mindset of staying hungry. But um, yeah, I tried to. Cut my hair, I messed it up, so I found my, my stepmom old razor and I shaved my head completely bald. And the whole back of my head was was bumped up. Or but yeah, bumped up in the past since. Uh I it took me about a month and I got rid of them. And I didn't do anything to it. I didn't apply anything to it. You know, I did my regular routine. We would go ride my bicycle to the uh, to the beach in the morning, took like a half an hour to ride the bike. Ride the bike to to the beach uh, in Ocho Rios, uh, Fisherman Beach. Um, now riding back was a different story because it was going back up the mountains. Coming down was fun, but um, I ate most of the stuff off the land, and it, it just automatically went away. So when I came here and I got these bumps again, I thought it would just clear it up. Well, apparently I was wrong. It took nine years, um, but. Um, after I got rid of them, you know, I got my mind right and I started changing my diet, you know, changing my diet gave me a different way of thinking. I could sleep better and all that. I started backtracking and I remembered I had them before and why did it automatically go away and why did this time I have to get, go to dermatologists and all that stuff. And I realized like the only thing I did different was I ate different. Um, and the body was able to heal itself. These bumps on the back of your head, it's a disease. If you look up the word disease you will find that it falls under that category. So just understand that. Um, I, I definitely tell people like to blame your barber is not 100% true. Uh, to blame dirty clippers is not 100% true. It, the bacteria found the opportunity to work itself in. Uh, for me, I had to change a lot of stuff. I have uh, what's called periodontal, and that was because I was eating all this mess that I thought was good, cheese steak, I don't even know what's in cheese steak, um, you know, fried chicken here, ribs, all that stuff, I was slowly killing myself, and I didn't even know it, and 
I had to do surgery where they had to cut my uh, gum. To uh, insert bone inside of it because um, the uh, young partying track we used to go to Nopi back in the day. You know, I would party for three, four days, and you know, sometimes I'd be gone. I, I wasn't worried about you know if if I went a, a night without brushing my teeth and stuff like that. You know, you're 20, you think you're invincible. Um, definitely paying for that now that I'm 32, but um, it's a learning experience and. Um, at first I was mad at everybody. I was mad at my parents. Um, but I just understood that they're not the ones that caused this issue I did. And I had to man up and take responsibility. And I've been slowly working my way back and slowly working my way into being more alkaline in my diet and being, um, being, be aware of, of the information my brain collects and, you know, the, 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 being, conscious of the, the information my 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 eyes collect and my brain processes and being careful of the content that I bring into myself in general you know whatever is on the television I'm very very thorough about what I watch you know it seems like every time you cut the television on now it's either somebody arguing somebody getting shot you know or you know on the movies on the tv even in the cartoons it's like somebody's getting hurt good guy bad guy you know it's it's, it's essentially not really that loving kind of, you know, Tom and Jerry that I grew up on. You know, even that was a bang in the head or, or whatever it was. You know, even now, now I'm watching um, funny videos and it's like somebody has to get hurt. So I'm very uh, conscious in with the information that I bring in. I'm trying to stay positive. Uh, I, I'm very careful about the people that I have around me. My friend circle is really small. Compared to back in the day when I was partying and hitting no pee and um, going to the import, I was going to import versus the domestic, import versus domestic back in 06, 07, way back, back in the day, you know, when I, in my early, early 20s. And, you know, it was just about the partying and the fast life. Used to, it was, I used to just have fun with no regards. Now I have a family, I have a son. And I'm trying to pass a lot of this information on to him, you know, and um, I want to share it with you guys. So, um, yeah, it's uh, if you can find medicine within what you eat, then it cuts back on the amount of doctor visits you have to get, the amount of medication you have to get. I, I, I try to exercise and make sure you get, get your sleep. Um, I don't know, I've been messing up on my sleep a little bit. Um and stuff like that, but um that's that's important too. You guys gotta get your sleep. Um that's gonna be in another topic because you gotta understand how important sleep is. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave your comments down below. If you guys understand what I'm talking about as far as the sleep is concerned, leave your comment. If you guys understand what I'm talking about as far as eating the proper food, not not just eating something because they say orange is good but i'm talking about eating the proper food leave your comments down below if you guys understand what i'm saying about just shutting down from the world itself and meditating and, and kind of rebooting like a computer needs to be rebooted and so your brain doesn't overheat and i just see a lot of people go mentally crazy insane they just get overwhelmed by life itself and um they just don't understand that sometimes you have to shut down and reboot recuperate recuperate and stuff like that Leave your comments though down below. This is going to be a follow up video to um my uh how I got rid of my uh, razor bumps, my diet part two, you know, and um I'll try to keep you guys informed about new stuff that I try to incorporate in my diet. Um, I'm telling you, man, my skin feels good now. I seldomly get sick. Um, you know, I, I it's just it's been a life changer. I wish I knew this stuff when I was in my twenties, but it took a lot of trial and error um, to, uh, to, to get where I'm at now. A lot of being humble, a lot of understanding, a lot of patience, and um, a lot of humor. You know, laughter is the best medicine. I mean, when was the last time you guys really laugh? Like, not laugh because you're trying to kiss up 
or anything like that, or not laugh because everybody is laughing, but I'm talking about a genuine laugh, a laugh to, you just, your stomach is cramped, you can't even get off the ground. Like, those little stuff that are free are so important, and, you know, we just take for granted sex. People don't understand how important sex is, you know, and it's just the little stuff in life that's, that's given to us for free, you know, having our kids. They're so much fun. They take your mind off of a stressful day. And I see so many people that are trying to avoid their kids because they make too much noise or whatever it is. And, you know, our kids are having a bad day at school. And I'm like, they they probably just doing that because they want some more attention. So for me, I always try to look at the glass half full versus a half empty. You always have, if you don't stay positive in Jamaica, then you mess around and probably hang yourself or something like that. Or kill yourself because things do get hard. You do get tested, you know, and um, you make the best out of any situation, you know. Um, and and it, it, those are memories you hold for a lifetime. Look, I'll keep you guys up to date. I'm going to blend my uh, cucumber uh, and my cucumber skins up, put them on my plant. I'm going to, um, you know, enjoy my day, probably clean up a little bit. That's That's, that's mainly what I do. On the weekends, I might have a wild, crazy weekend, but I know when to cross, cut the line. I did a Dino Day video. You guys will get clips of it. And um, after that, they had a, a a night party at Glen Burnie in Maryland here. And it was just jumping. I stopped by there. But I was just, my body was like, you need some sleep. And I just went home and went to sleep. You know, I'm not going to just party myself out. You know, life is a marathon. It's not a sprint. So I figure I've been partying since 06. You know, as far as the cars are concerned, I've been partying way before that. But as far as cars, since 06, it's 2018 now, and I'm still going. And I've seen a lot of people get burnt out. I see people now, all their hair is gone. You know, I still see them at the track. You know, they're just dragging now. And I'm like, well, thankfully, I paced myself, you know, um, so I must be doing something right. You don't have to have everything right now. Time, patience will get you there. Just try to understand what's going on in the world so you can stay ahead of the eight ball listen y'all i'll keep you guys up to date um i did i definitely wanted to bring the these sour stuff to you guys attention uh these ky this cayenne pepper um people do dilute the cayenne pepper in water and drop it in their eyes i haven't gotten to that extent um i'm trying to see if just incorporating the uh the cucumbers and the cayenne pepper in my son's diet is going to help. He gets those dark spots around his eyes around allergy time and it eats me up. Say hi. Hi. All right, come here. So it's allergy be time, right? My son has these really dark. Close your eyes because I want the light there. This dark, little dark, you get a little darkening around his eyes. Because, um, you know, I... Got myself situated, and I want to get him situated. So that's kind of my focus when I'm not doing other videos. And um, I have some videos that I'm obligated to do. Not necessarily obligated, but I started out doing them, and I got to do a follow-up on them. And um, it's been busy. You know, the car scene has been busy. And uh, Maryland has been real good with the car events and stuff like that. So I'm going to squeeze um, as many videos as I possibly can while having some time for myself. Hey, hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe video, that subscribe, hit that like button, that share, that subscribe. Um, definitely try to see if I get a thousand subscriber by this year. Um, subscriber membership has been going up, man. I want to see if I, YouTube is going to hold their word and give me, uh, put ads on my videos. We'll see how we go from there. Um, and try to work with a few companies and, and see how they can improve on stuff so I, you know, can make it better for you guys, you know, um, more accessible for you guys, more uh, beneficial for you guys. And um, we go, you know, we just go from there, you know, we'll see how 2018 um, develops or shapes up. Hey, man, take care, y'all. Be safe. It's love.